Another attribute is NAN, which allows you to customize how you treat cells with non-numeric data. You can either convert them or ignore them. Let's try it out with row four. In cell D4, let's type the word with. Notice that the line graph changed. There are four data points. Let's try using the attribute convert, that is to convert the text. So we separate our attributes by a semicolon. It seems to have converted into a zero and there is a dip in the middle of the graph. If instead we ignore it, so we change convert to ignore, notice there are four values and it shows an increasing trend with no dip for the empty cell. By default, if there is a non-numeric value in a cell, Google Sheets will ignore it. The syntax when using the second parameter is, when defining the attribute, we need to have the attribute name and the value for the attribute in a pair separated by a comma. Multiple attributes are separated by semicolons. And hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.